Hello, everyone, and welcome to our virtual event, Technology and Process Advancements in Cell and Gene Therapy Development. We're so excited to deliver over three hours of insightful sessions covering cell and gene therapy topics, ranging from large-scale processing of mesenchymal stromal cells and T-cell immunotherapies to regulatory considerations and raw material selection, and the latest on analytical platforms to evaluate the quality, safety, and efficacy of cell-based products. Towards the end of our virtual event, join us for a special panel discussion as industry experts discuss the present and future direction of the cell and gene therapy sector through an Asian lens. We will begin this event with our first webinar presented by Dr. Alan Lam and Dr. Chu Ying Wang, titled Semi-Automated Closed Processing of Mesenchymal Stromal Cells. For a complete biography of our speakers, click the speaker information tab found on the left of your screen. We encourage you to submit questions during the presentation, and we'll answer as many as we have time for afterward. You may also submit any technical issues here as well, if you have any trouble seeing or hearing the presentation. Dr. Lam, Dr. Ingwa, the floor is yours. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar on technology and process advancements in cell and gene therapy development. I'm Dr. Inghua, the field application scientist supporting cell and gene therapy workflows in the ASEAN and Taiwan region at Samo Fisher Scientific. Today, I have the privilege of co-presenting with Dr. Alan Lam from ASTAR Bioprocessing Technology Institute. Our joint presentation will focus on using our ROTIA, a counter flow centrifugation technology based instrument to conduct a semi-automated and closed processing of messy chemo stem cells, which is short for MSC. First, please allow me to introduce some of Fisher's cell and gene therapy portfolio. Thermo Fisher Scientific serves as the ideal global partner, offering a comprehensive range of products, workflow integration, technical and manufacturing expertise, as well as clinical capabilities. These resources are essential for accelerating the commercialization of novel cell therapies. We provide built approach to support our customer to develop their process through six leading product portfolios. Our solutions could scale up the entire process from research to manufacturing while ensuring compliance with regulatory requirement. In the meantime, if customer is keen to accelerate their process development, we could offer the buy approach. That is, we provide assurance of partnering with an experienced CDMO. Furthermore, our recent integration with PPD allows us to offer a full range of clinical services. Our services portfolio combines scalability with a broad array of services and an extensive support network, all aimed at meeting our client critical timelines. Moving on, we create the cell therapy system CDS trademark to cater to both cell and gene therapy applications for our customers. The journey of cell and gene therapy process begins in academia, where researchers utilize RUO reagents. Recognizing the need of reliable reagent that can seamlessly transition from research to clinical production and beyond, we supply qualified solutions. To underscore the value of our CTS portfolio, we align our core beliefs with attributes validated through market research. This includes rigorous safety testing, dedicated regulatory and quality teams, and the production of GMP-compliant products. Furthermore, it's essential to emphasize that the CTS portfolio products are already making significant contributions in numerous trials and several commercialized products. 
Our CTS portfolio consists of purpose-built products spanning media and regions, cell therapy instrumentation, and viral vector systems. These specialized products are meticulously designed to fulfill the requirements of clinical and commercial manufacturing, complete the necessary regulatory documentation. The media and the regions used in our CTS products adhere to GMP standards. Additionally, we offer complementary RUO versions facilitating the seamless transition from initial discovery to clinical trials and eventual commercial production. Our cell therapy instruments supporting consumables and the software solutions ensures GMP compliant closed system manufacturing and this integration allows for both physical and the digital coordination. We have also developed viral vector systems, which could provide cost-effective and scalable solutions, streamlining lentiviral and AAV production from research phases to large-scale commercial manufacturing. Next, please allow me to introduce the Gibico CTS Rotia, a compact closed automated cell processing system specifically designed for cell therapy manufacturing. With the proprietary counterflow centrifuge technology, it allows customers to perform flexible applications such as cell separation based on size, cell wash, concentration, and buffer exchange. Notably, its unique chamber design enables an exceptionally low output volume of 5 ml, while achieving superior cell recovery and viability. Additionally, the OPC UA interface embedded in the Rotia software support compliance with 21 CFR Part 11 standards. Our strong aspiration is that our CTS instrument play a vital role in driving innovation within closed system for cell and gene therapy manufacturing. Take Rotia as an example. With less than two years of its launch, over 400 units has been globally adopted with a handful in early phase manufacturing. Our overarching objective is to maintain pace with cell and gene therapy developers, supporting their process development efforts and ensuring timely and successful milestones. As a complete and closed cell processing system, Rotia comprised with three components, a compact instrument with small footprint, which is less than 30 cm in width, but could accommodate with versatile applications, including cell separation based on size, cell wash, buffer exchange, and concentration. Secondly, we have the single-use kit. With one kit, it fits multiple applications across entire cell process development. Lastly, Rotia software is intuitive. The integrated cell cam technology enables us to visualize the cell process progress. Moreover, the software is GMP compatible and supports the compliance of 21 CFR Part 11. This allows for closed multiple batches processing within a single clean room, enabling a seamless transition from research to commercial manufacturing for our valued customers. With the high flexibility, our customers have conducted and validated the Rotia with multiple applications such as T-cell and MSC wash and concentration, PBMC monocyte separation, IPS aggregate processing, the red blood cell depletion, among others. Notably, we have customers extending the capability of Rotia to separate microalgae and isolate mitochondria. The application of the Swiss Army knife Rotia is constantly growing. Specifically, we would like to provide an example of using Rotia for processing clinical grade human mesenchymal stem cell, HMSC, including washing cryopreserved 
human MSC and pave the way for final formulation. In this experiment, we watched cryopreserved patient derived human MSC using lactate ringer solution and formulated them with injectable saline. On the left side, you will observe 100 million cells in the chamber with a post store viability of approximately 90%. On the right side, Rotier's performance is evident in terms of recovery and viability after one or two wash steps. Compared with manual centrifugation, which achieved only 50% recovery, Rotier constantly achieved an average of 75% recovery, which is higher than the manual method. In the meantime, it maintains 80% survivability, which is comparable with manual approach. It's important to note that this demonstration involved patient-derived MSC, which may be more sensitive to thawing and the cell washing. The table below illustrates the impressive results of removing the residue BSA by Rotier. With a one-time dilution of cell and one-time wash, we could remove over 200-fold residue BSA. Furthermore, with a one-time dilution of the cell and two-time washes, we achieved a remarkable of more than 3,000-fold washout efficiency. With this, the process has been validated and the cell has met the release criteria for further formulation as set by our customers. These findings underscore Rotier's versatility as a closed processing instrument. Now, I'd like to hand the floor over to Dr. Alan Lam, the senior scientist at BTI ASTAR, who will dive into our collaborative research project on human MSC processing using the CTS Rotier system. Over to you, Alan. So thank you, uh, Yinghua. Now I would like to continue to talk about our research collaboration projects between Spa Processing Technology Institute in short BTI with the Fisher. My name is Alan Lam, uh, a senior scientist from BTI under the groups of stem cell bar processing. We previously had a program called ASTEM, allogenic stem, stem cell manufacturing, which seek to engage company multinationals to solve some of the process development problem for cell therapy manufacturing. So we have a uh, collaborations with Thermo Fisher to evaluate their custom stem pro serum free, sino free media for MSC expansion in both 2D and 3D cultures, as well as to incorporate with their Rotia system for MSC harvesting. The project contains three parts. First, to compare the custom Stempo SFM media with a serum 10% FBS containing media for the expansion and differentiation of human MSC in 2D monolayer cultures. Second is to compare both media in 3D microcarrier cultures. And finally, we'll optimize the bar scale up bar processing with the C1 free media by testing the Rotier counterflow centrifugation system for harvesting, washing, and concentrations of expanded MSC cell from a 10 layer cell factory platform. And today, we are only focusing on part two and part three of the project. In part two, we scalable productions of MSCs under C1 free condition media in microcarrier based spinner flask culture. Here shows the simplified experimental pro protocol. We culture the cell in vitro netting coated cell dex1 microcarrier spinner cultures with initial cell seedings at 5e4 cells per mil in 100 mil volume. 
and then we culture the sound for several days at 35 RPM. Two sound lines we use, UCMSC and ADMSC. Here shows some of the representative images of MSC growing in the spinner culture. Cell attachment efficiencies after two hours is about 88% in serum containing media and is about 92% in serum free media. In short, the cells are attached and spread well on microcarriers in serum free media, which is better than in serum containing media. On day two, which is the lower panel of the image, we already can see clearly that cell have been well expanded on the Cyrodex-1 microcarriers in serum-free media, which is better than culturing in serum containing media. It is worth to note that there's a clumping of cell to MS to microcarrier aggregates start to form as early as on day two in the serum free media culture. That means the microcarriers begins fully covered by the cell. And then the cell try to further expand by migrating to another microcarriers. Here shows the cell growth kinetic profile on UCMSC and ADMSC cell. In short, um, a shorter leg phase about one day was observed when the cell cultured in the serum free media as compared about with about two days in serum containing media, leading to maximum cell concentrations about 5E5 cell in UCMSC and 3.4E5 cell per mil in ADMSC at day four culture which come to a very important point here. At the end, on day four, up to 50% more cell can be produced in serum-free media as compared with serum containing medias. And also, cell took only three or four days to achieve full conferency on microcarrier, shorter time periods than in serum containing media which actually at day three and four, the cell is not even confident yet in the serum containing media. To test the potency of the cell, for the CQA analysis, there's no change in the identities of the serum free media expanded cell in terms of ISCT marker expression. All culture routine expressions of typical MSC marker showing high expressions of CT73, CT90, and CT105, and negative in CT33 and CT45. The good close, lactase, and ammonia metabolism profile in all cultures illustrated the cell's growth in a normal anaerobic metabolic status which cells will grow faster in serum-free media, as shows by the cell already taking up more glucose since day one of the culture. For the cell potency, UCMSC and ADMSC expand in serum-free media, displaced a similar CFU potential compared with the cells expanded in the serum containing media. Moreover, the expanded cell still retain their ability to differentiate into adipocytes as stated by all red, which detect the lipids in the differentiated cell. And the control sites stated by L's in blue, although the smaller palettes will observe in UCMSC defenders the cell. Furthermore, osteocytes as stated by aggressive red to visualize both intracellular and extracellular calcium deposit. To summarize the finding in part two, SM, FFN, 
media is out of outperformed much more better than serum containing media for microcarrier culture. In terms of shorter lag phase of surf, which leading to shorter culture time to reach cell conferency. And with 50% higher yield as compared with serum containing cultures. The cells still express positive and negative ICT markers with a comparable CFU potency as with cell growth in serum containing media and still maintain their trilineage differentiation potential. And we also measure the expression of secretions in all the cultures using Luminex multiplex assay. Although the number of factors we find in serum-based media have more, but more important is the more important growth factor such as VGF, BFGF were extremely high secreted in the serum free media. In part three of the project, we optimized the scale up process by, process by testing the Rotia counterflow centrifugation system from CF10 for separations, washing, and concentrations of expanded cells. Here show a simplified workflow. We thaw the cells from working cell pan passage 4, then expand them on a four-layer cell factory in serum free media, then further expanded in 10-layer cell factory, followed by harvesting, washing, and concentrations using the Rotia system. Here shows the data of three independent run. The main take home message here is the cell viability and cell recovery after the Rotia systems process is still high, which is roughly over 97 to 98%. Here shows the results in bar chart formats. The cells in, 500, in 450 mil culture media was processed in Rotia system as input, followed by reducing the volume into tenfold using the counterfold centrifugation. At the end, the final output volume was about 45 mil. After the processing in Rotia, cell viability and the recovery rates was about 97 to 98%, which is around 200 million cells can get in 45 mil. All culture retain expressions of typical MSC marker showing high expressions of CT73, CT90, and CT105, which is negative in CT34 and 45. And the cell displays a similar CFU potential before and after Rotia processing. And the concentrated cell after Rotia processing still retain the ability to differentiate into adipocytes, astrocytes, and chondrocytes. Again, we also measure the expressions of a secretome from the cell before and after the rotia processing. All targeted cytokines or growth factor will still consistently expressed from the cell before and after the concentration process. To summarize the finding in part three, after rotia system processing to wash and concentrate the cells, we can achieve high cell recovery rates and high cell viability around 97 to 98%. The cell still express ICT markers before and after the processing, and the cell still retain CFU potency, trilinear differentiation potency, and the cell still release same amounts of secretomes before and after the process. In summary, we demonstrate that the custom stem pros SFM XF media K 
can support the droves of UCMSC and ADMSC in both monolayer and microcarrier cultures as compared or even better than serum containing media in microcarrier culture. We also showcase a process of using Rotia Counterflow Centrifugation System for harvesting, washing, and concentrations of MSC with high recovery rates without loose inviability and still maintaining the cell identity, CFU potential, and differentiation potential. In future, actually, we would like to incorporate our microcarrier biorector system with the Rotia system in order to streamline the microcarrier scale up MSC manufacturing process. Thank you for your attention. Thank you both for that informative presentation. We will now start the live Q&A portion of the webinar. Although Dr. Lam is unable to join us for this segment, we do have Dr. Ingwa on the line with us now to answer your questions. So again, to our audience, if you have a question you'd like to ask, please do so now. Uh, we're all already getting several questions in, so I'll go ahead and start with this first one. So Dr. Ingwa, does the CTS trademark mean 100% accepted by regulatory bodies? Okay, thanks for the question. So the typical CTS products are designed to meet the US and EU guidelines specific to ancillary material for CGT, such as USP 1043, ISO 20399. So in addition, we have dedicated regulatory and the quality teams could help to provide product support, including DMF, RSF for customer filings. So it's the responsibility of the manufacturer or developer to navigate the regulatory approval process and the demonstrate compliance with all the relevant requirements. So some official scientific will support with providing the necessary documents for regulation filings. It is also important to work closely with the regulatory bodies and the follow their guidelines and requirements to obtain the necessary approval and acceptance for any products, including cell therapy systems. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, it looks like we have time for just one more question. What level of support is provided for training and for process development using the CTS Rotea system? Okay, so the level of support for Rotea training and the process development may vary depending on the specific needs and the requirements from our customers. In general, installation qualification and operational qualification, which is IQOQ of Rotia, is suggested to implement at first. Based on the customer's application, we will provide a two-day theory and the hands-on training of the instrument itself with our experienced field application scientist team. This Rotia pro protocol is programmable. We will teach the user on how to use protocol builder to edit and write their own protocols so that can fit in the specific application for each process development. Moving on, our application team will provide the continuous test support and troubleshooting if required by our customers. So once again, thank you for the good question. Great, thank you, Dr. Ingwa. Now questions we did not have time for during the presentation, including those asked during the on-demand period will be answered by the speaker uh, via the email address provided at the time of registration. Now, before we end this webinar, I would like to encourage you to fill out that session survey found on the left side of your screen. You may have already taken a look at that. Our next webinar titled Advancing Process Efficiency for the End-to-End -end Manufacturing of T-Cell Immunotherapies is up next and will begin in approximately five minutes. So to join us in that presentation, you will need to close this window and then click on the button uh, within the auditorium with that webinar's title. So we will see you guys shortly. Thank you.